the harmonic series is the sum of the reciprocals of the natural numbers. And the question is, when we add more and more terms of this series, does our sum approach some number, or does it continue getting bigger and bigger? Essentially, does this approach infinity as we add more and more terms? So, in modern terms, we would ask, does this converge, which means that it approaches some number, or does it diverge, which essentially means, does it approach infinity? So if we add it up, the first 100 terms of this series, we would get about 5.187. And if we added up the first 1,000 terms, we would get about 7.486. And if we add it all the way up to the first 1 million terms, we would get 14.392, or right about this number. So you can notice that it is getting bigger and bigger as we add more and more terms, but it's not getting bigger very quickly. And it was in 1968 that the American mathematician John Wrench Jr. calculated for this sum to grow bigger than the number 100, our final term here, this n value, would have to be this number. And you might notice that this number is 44 digits. So you might be tempted to think that this does, in fact, eventually add up to some number. And by just looking at this sum, you can see that as our n value gets bigger and bigger, as this approaches infinity, this term here approaches zero. So as we go further and further along, the numbers we're adding are very, very tiny, almost zero. So it's almost reasonable to think that this would add up to some number. And it was in the 1300s that a bishop from France named Nicola Oresma. And he was born around 1320 or sometime around 1325. We don't really know for sure. But he died in 1382. So Oresma was able to prove that the harmonic series diverges. And the way he did that is quite clever because it's so simple. So, if I were to write out the first 16 terms, we can group the terms in the harmonic series so that we have one-third and one-fourth together, one-fifth all the way up to one-eighth together, and one-ninth all the way up to one-sixteenth together, and so on. Notice here we have two terms together, here we have four terms, here we have eight terms, then the next grouping would have 16 terms. We can say that the harmonic series is bigger than one plus one-half plus one-fourth plus one-fourth, there's the first grouping, plus one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one eighth plus one sixteenth and here we'll add one sixteenth to itself eight times and the next grouping which would have sixteen terms in it would just be one thirty second added to itself sixteen times so you can notice here if we look at the first grouping this one third plus one fourth this would obviously be bigger than one-fourth plus one-fourth because one-third is bigger than one-fourth. And here again in the second grouping, one-fifth, one-sixth, and one-seventh are all bigger than one-eighth, so it's clear that this grouping here is bigger than this grouping. And in this grouping here of eight terms, you can see that one-ninth all the way up to one-fifteenth are all bigger than one-sixteenth, so this grouping would have to be bigger than this grouping. And you can continue this argument on and on. And if we clean this 
sum up here, this infinite sum, we'll notice something. So this sum here is equal to 1 plus 1 half plus, here we have 2 fourths, 2 over 4 plus, here we have 1 eighth, but there are 4 of them, so that would be 4 eighths, and here we have 1 sixteenth, but there are 8 of them, so that would be 8 sixteenths, and if we kept going, the next one would have 16 1 30 seconds, or 16 over 32, and we can continue this forever. So now if we simplify these fractions, we'll have 1 plus 1 half plus 2 fourths is just 1 half. 4, of, 4 divided by 8 is just 1 half. 8 divided by 16 is just 1 half, and so on. We're essentially adding up 1 plus an infinite amount of 1 halves. As we add more and more terms of this series, it approaches infinity. So we can essentially say that this sum here diverges. So this diverges. And if this sum diverges, and it's smaller than the harmonic series, that means that the harmonic series also diverges. So if we go back up to the beginning, the harmonic series diverges. Which means that as we add up more and more terms, that the sum will approach infinity.